All right, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to your last class of the day. Yeah. All right, but let's go ahead and write down our topic in our notebooks. So today's topic is intro to clauses. Last week in our grammar class, we talked about the different connectors. We said there was like the first, next, then. We said those are like elementary style. We need to move away from them. Second uh, chart had like prepositions, which we already talked about. Prepositions, prepositional phrases. Today we're looking at that third part of the chart, clauses. Please write that down. May I continue next? Right, let's keep going. So you need to write down your goals for today. We're going to identify independent clauses, identify dependent clauses, and practice writing both. I know some of you I've already heard it ask, like, what are these things? Don't worry, because when today's class is finished, you will be a master of both. to yourself, how is this possible? How did this happen? Photographer. Oh. Oh. So she shoots with the camera 
develop the photo in the water and hang it up to dry. Wow. Yeah. It's a bit of an old fashioned camera, old fashioned style of film. I know you. Not like the digital ones, like your camera phone. So please write down the answer as well. She is a photographer. She's not a murderer. <laughs> Thank goodness. Alright. Good job, though. Let's continue on. Let's get back into our subject, our grammar for today. So, today we said we were talking about independent clauses. Let's please write this down. Independent clauses, if you looked at other grammar books or other textbooks, Sometimes they are also called main clauses, which mean the same thing. Main clauses, independent clauses, they all require a subject and a verb in order to function. And they express a complete thought. You can use them as a sentence. Also, please make sure you're writing this down. For example, I like bananas. That's an independent clause, and it can work as a sentence. Now, I think some of you are wondering right now, oh, Mr. Blair, if an independent clause can be a sentence, why do we call it independent clause? Why can't we just call it a sentence? And the reason for that is because sentences can have more than one independent clause. For example, I could say, I like bananas, but I hate apples. That's one sentence, but it has two independent clauses.
to continue? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. If you're still not finished writing, please make sure you copy from the partner. So we have, we're going to look back one more time to our riddle. We're going to try to find any dependent clause at this time. And we're going to try to circle them. So looking back, raise your hand, can you find a dependent clause in our riddle? In the far back there, how did you do? After a woman shoots her husband. After a woman shoots her husband, very good. So that's our first dependent clause, you can underline that. And Kim Hunter Oh, she was Kim Underwood for me. Mm, good try, but that one's a dependent, an independent clause. We already underlined that one. Uh, in the front here, so yeah. When five minutes have passed, very good. So that's our two dependent clauses, after a woman shoots her husband, and when five minutes have passed. Can those work as a sentence by themselves, yes or no? No, of course not. They need an independent clause. Any questions so far? Now, I did mention earlier that dependent clauses begin with a subordinating conjunction. Very long word. And these are some subordinating conjunctions. Now, I'm not going to ask you to write these down. That's way too mean of me to do that. Instead, I printed it out, and you can cut them out and glue them into your notebook. Now, after you cut and glue these out, you also need to cut and glue this part as well, and cut these six out as well. These last six clauses, when you cut them out, do not glue them. Everyone want to understand? Yes. All right. I'll pass them out. Take one. You may start right away. If you're confused, need help, or don't understand, please ask. I will also come around to give my keys. And I need extra. Thank you, sir.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you have trash paper, please hold on to it for a second. We'll clean up and throw them all away at the end of class.
Yeah, that's bread, but the thing that they're using. What is that? Wood. Uh, wood? wood? <laughs> it's called a door stop. Oh. Like you used to stop the door. Oh. 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 Too. Yeah, yeah. Too dirty. Yeah, it's very dirty. So, how can I describe the situation? The dependent and independent clause. Door, door stop, like stopping the door. Ah. Again, if you get stuck, look at your common subordinating conjunctions. Because, since, when, even though, you can begin your uh, dependent clauses with one of these words.
Yeah, it's quite salty. Yeah. In the back there, Tim Hungary. I took a monkey to go over the mountain. I, I made a French fry mountain and I ate it. Nice. What was your subordinating conjunction? Yeah. Can you repeat your sentence one more time, please? Yeah. Okay. okay, so because, okay, good. I just wanted to double check. Just speak a little bit louder. Otherwise, it's good. Next, let me hear from Yuji Hart. Because the French fries aren't too good, the workers will eat more of them. Very good, very good. Who else? In the corner over here, Kim in song? <coughs> Even though the French fries were over expired date, Oh, yeah. What happened? Oh, expired French fries, nasty. Because we wanted to help our friends' father's business, we ordered a bunch of French fries. Oh, I like that very creative response on that one. Last one, yes. When I finished eating the French fries, my hands were so Good, good. I let, one thing I want to say, everyone's doing a great job, is we're all using different subordinating conjunctions. Some people are saying because, or since, or when. You're not using the same thing. You're showing a lot of creativity. That's good. Let's go to our next picture. Oh! 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 So, ladies and gentlemen, try to use again your dependent independent clause. Make a sentence to describe the situation. And again, if you get stuck, if you're having a little block in your brain there, just think of your support A conjunctions. Before, because, since, even, until, when. I was going to write Joseph, come on. <laughs> 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 the cat, hey, prefer to 
I think somebody on your toes took that. Well, if you feel that way, you can write it down in your sentence with your partner. So, again, take about a minute or two, look at this picture, talk with your partner, come up with a sentence that has a dependent and independent clause to describe the situation. Good try. Alright, any questions so far? You did a good job guys, we really understand this. 
Alright, if there are no questions, let's go ahead and wrap things up with our cool down quiz. Yeah. Let's see if you pay attention. <laughs> Question one. What is another name for an independent clause? Prepositional clause, subordinate clause, main clause. Raise your hand if you know. Kim in song. Main clause. Main clause is correct. Question two. What is another name for a dependent clause? Prepositional clause, subordinate clause, sample clause. <laughs> It's not Christmas yet, it's so far away. Aww. Identify the independent clause. Before I brush my teeth, I eat breakfast. Before I brush my teeth, I eat breakfast. There is no independent clause. Uh, Hajan Yuck. B. B is correct. Oh. Question four. Oh, identify the dependent clause. Although I was late, I did not get punished. Although I was late, I did not get punished. There is no, there is no dependent clause. Okay. Although I was late. Although I was late. Okay. And the final question for today, question five. What begins a dependent clause? Hint. Words like because and since. Preposition, subordinating conjunction, or verb. Easy. Easy. Can I hear from? Ah. Uh, yeah. Correct. Subordinating conjunction. Yeah. Now, before you yeah. clean up for today, ladies and gentlemen, you have to write down your homework. Oh, you yeah. have week three online topic peer replied. When is this due? What day? Friday. 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 Before what time? Yeah, before midnight. Before 12. Now there's one more thing you have to do for homework for me. What is that? In your textbook. What page? Oh. Page 60. Not 60. Close. One down. 59. 59. 59. 59. Just page 59. If you didn't finish it in class last time, have it ready before the next class. Page 59. Any questions? Yeah, what was your question? No, no, no. No questions? Oh, okay. What is the name of our textbook? The name of your textbook is Great Writing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, you did a great job today. I'm very happy. Once you bring down the homework, you can start cleaning up and prepare for. Thank you so much.